I'm live. They're always saying that like they're surprised. You're live. <laughs> oh no. More of my fingernail polish peeling off. Oh. Hi. I'm Sunny. Nice to meet you. <laughs> if you are just coming in and it doesn't say live, then you are watching a replay. And I'm waiting for people. We have one people. <laughs> Hi, one person. I'm peeling my fingernails off. Ah! Two! Two! Oh, 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 lovely people. Oh my goodness, have I been going around all morning with my collar turned in? That's not good. I wonder I got some funny looks. No. <laughs> I didn't get funny looks. Oh, get my hair over on this side. I did brush it. Apparently the wind took care of unbrushing it for me. How is everybody? Three people. Ah! My fingernails polish is peeling off. It's bothering me. How's everybody doing? I am going to drink what's left of my, well, it was a coffee milkshake. Or a frozen drink or whatever. I had used my blender and my Starbucks coffee, uh, cold brew, or whatever is in that bottle that I bought at Tar Target. Ah, sippy sippy. Is everybody ready to play? It is Tuesday. And that means T-Mobile freebies on Tuesday. Do you know, you should be so proud of me. I know that my goal was to stop collecting clutter. Oh, I was so good today in, in Ross's. I'll tell you about that later. But I realized that today was Tuesday, and so the free stuff from T-Mobile. And I looked, and they have a free trick-or-treat bag and it has lights that twinkle in the handle and I my first thought is oh it's so cute I gotta hurry over there and get one before they run out I didn't go you should be so proud I just said Sunny do you really need that are you really gonna go trick-or-treating <laughs> And I thought, no. So I thought, leave it for other people that are going to go trick-or-treating. That's one less thing that you don't need in your house. Why am I not seeing the talking? Hi, Kate. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Savannah. Aren't you proud of me that I just said no? It's like drugs, like Nancy Reagan would always tell us about drugs. Just say no. Well, collecting clutter is my drug. <laughs> and I just said no. I'm so proud. Hi, Nicole. Okay, honey, you just do that. It's so hard to just say no. But we had our new Rosses. I made a video for you, I'm gonna, but it was in little, like, three pieces. So I have to um, edit them together, and then I'll be uploading it. And it's a um, big mural that was painted a couple years ago by the Castle High School students and um, I think some elementary students. And anyhow, it was beautiful. And I was thinking that... It was really probably going to gross people out because when I was walking around kind of briskly going from this spot to that spot, as big as I am, it made me breathe heavy. And so you hear me going, to... 
And I don't know, that could be kind of disturbing to some people. So I was thinking, well, I can put music over that. The sad part about that, though, is the mural has a lot of birds um, in the mural. And I thought it was ironic that the real birds were twittering around me while I was filming it. So I kind of don't want to knock out the the sound with music so that you can hear the birds. What do you what do you you think? What's your opinion? Tell me what you think is better. Would you rather hear the birds twittering while you looked at the mural or would you rather hear just a little soft music? I don't want anybody thinking that I'm like breathing heavy for a weird kind of gross reason. <laughs> Just breathing heavy because I'm too overweight. Okay, everybody's voting for the birds. You'll just have to suffer hearing me breathe hard. Okay. That coffee drink was... Uh, so, come see, come saw, is what they said in French. We got five people. We got Rachel, Savannah, Kate. Um, Nicole's just listening. Savannah, Rachel, Kate, Nicole. That means five, and one person is lurking and not saying hi. Or maybe it's Kayla. Is, was K Kayla? Nope. Kayla didn't log in. Well, whoever you are. Now, oh, two. Two people unaccounted for. Keto. Hi. So, um, I... I'll get that together and I'll be putting that uh, video up this afternoon um, right after we are, I'm going to use Pigeon English, R right after we pow with this. Pow means all done. Pow. So anyhow, oh, we lost one person. So sad. Who was that? Um, must be the other person that never said hi. Ah, uh, thank you, Savannah. You're going to be leaving soon. I know, Keto, but it was saying six for a while, and now it's down to five. Yeah, um, everybody say prayers for uh, my daughter's Labradoodle, Saka. He's not um, well physically. And it may be his time to cross over the Rainbow Bridge. You're waiting for Sebastian to tell you when to come in. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Um, so, Rachel may have to let him go night-night. Wake up over on the other side with my Donnie. My golden retriever that's over there playing and running and feeling great. Excuse moi. So, we got six people. We have no birthday girls or boys to sing to today. I got this nice bag at Ross's. It says, Be Merry, Be Bright. So, this is my haul. Lexi wants to talk to her Nana, she said. Ha 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 ha. Hi, Lexi. Hi, honey. How's your chicken doing? How's your cheeky cheeky? I love those chickens. I love those chickens. Now, all of a sudden, little Miss Bocce hears me using my really animated voice and she's all excited she thinks i'm talking to her plus i use the magic word chicken to her chicken is um chicken breast that's been cooked and chopped up into little pieces <laughs> she's got this big smile on her face <laughs> oh it's so cute don't you love it when dogs 
for some reason have their lips turn up on the ends and it looks like they're really making a big grin. Hmm. So let's see what I got in my haul, shall we? Are we all ready? Lexi, you want to see what Grandma got at the store? Should I show you what I got at the store? Oh, Lexi, you would love these. Look at what I got. You got to love Seniors Day when you get an extra 10% off. You go lay down. This is not for you. Chocolate hazelnut bears. Little cookies that are filled with hazelnut. And they're only 100 calories per pack. So good portion control. Let me see if I can figure out how you're supposed to open this thing. It was only $2.99. And then of course my 10% off, which was 29 cents. So $2.70. And these are made where? I don't even know. Manufactured. Ooh. Okay, maybe uh, Indonesia. Okay, well, we'll see. So, I am so happy that she loves her chicken. I ha have so many cute chickens in our courtyard. Nobody's had babies lately, though. The babies look like they're about two or three months old. Okay, kind of destroying, kind of destroying the, the lid here because I don't know what I'm doing. But okay, getting it open, getting it open. Maybe I should move this back just a wee bit. There, you can still see me. Look. Hi, Kills. Oh, okay. So you got 10 of these individual packages. That's 100 calories in there. These are nice to put into lunches, yeah? Oh, poopy diaper. Daddy Patrol. He made presents for her. Got some little presents for her. Let's open this and see. I wonder if Lexi is watching. Lexi, I would give you some of these if you were here. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Fortunately, she didn't see where they fell. Because doggies aren't supposed to eat chocolate. Chocolate is not healthy for doggies. Okay, little tiny biscuits. Mmm, flaky. Well, my personal opinion, because I'm picky, 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 maybe not worth 100 calories. But, I mean, if you're jonesing for some cookies, you get one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, I think. Looks like you get about twelve of these little biscuits in here. So, you could make it last a long time and feel like you were having a snack. A lot of times when you're trying to lose weight, it's all the mental game. You play the mental game against yourself, and you're like, mmm, this is just the best little cookie snack. Mmm, in the middle of the afternoon. Whoa. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. I got to me some coffee with this. Oh, it's nice. Oh, crunchy, crunchy. 
flaky, crispy. Mmm. Mmm. And you convince yourself that you're eating some really decadent kind of cookie. Or not. <laughs> Your choice. Play the game or don't. It's whatever works better for you. I kind of fluctuate. Sometimes every single calorie has to be also very delicious. Otherwise, I don't want to waste my calories on it. And then there's other days when I'm like, well, we're going to just decide that this is like amazing. And I work it. I work it. Okay, next up. What's next in the bag of Rosses? Well, this is what I actually went for in the first place. Well, not this one per se, but this is really, really good. Blackberry jam. This is made in Germany, I believe, or Switzerland. Germany. This Hero brand, we were eating this in Belgium when I was in high school, 9th, 10th, and 11th grade. So 68 through 71. That's, that's old of a company. And they have really, really good jam. And this has no high fructose corn syrup and no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. And look at the price, $2.99 minus my 10%, so $2.70. And very, very delicious. It makes your day so nice when you're having this on your toast in the morning. And it goes a far ways because it's very, very flavorful. Now this I got somewhere else. I got this at the military commissary the other day, but I was just going to show it to you. And I told uh, Peter about it because I never heard of these before. Pumpkin spice. Let's see if I can make it focus. Okay, so pumpkin spice Milano's. So I thought we're going to try one. Yeah, I told him on his Twitter. I said, I didn't know they had these. <laughs> I said, when I saw them, I, in my very best Scooby-Doo voice, I went, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> little Miss, I'm a little vacuum cleaner, is sitting here all perked up. Her ears are just per perky perky, and her head is going, whoop. She thinks I'm telling a story about food for her. Now, I have to say that Petridge Farm could use work on their packaging. They really don't make it very feasible. Okay, now this looks like a typical Milan. Milano. But does it taste good? Okay. There's the pumpkin cream. It That's so much. And how many calories is for one? Two cookies is 130. So this is 65 calories. Somebody want these? <laughs> Can I bribe somebody to eat these for me? <laughs> oh, I don't even think I'm going to finish this one. Um, okay, I think the mistake for them 
was they had chocolate on one side and pumpkin on the other. Um, not a fan of chocolate and pumpkin together. Um, it was a good thought, I think. Um, I was hoping that the pumpkin was the only thing in the middle. But we're going to set that on the side. Maybe I can seal this up and then, like, if I see a homeless person begging, I could say, look, have some cookies. <laughs> because nobody probably gives them cookies, right? Okay, what's next? Okay, here is a dress that I saw that was like ten dollars and of course then I got my discount and now I don't need an extra dress and um, I don't like brown and um, also it's a 3x but it looks way tighter but it's a real cute tie-dye with short sleeves really short probably by the time you put some little arms in there it's going to go up like a little cap sleeve, practically. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll ask my daughter to please put a picture with her in this on the chatterbox. Could you do that, Rachel? Could you put this on and get a picture and put it on the chatterbox for us? Does it have a... Oh, for a minute I got excited, Rachel. I thought that I thought it might have a pocket on the side, but it doesn't. It's nice and stretchy, but it would have to stretch a lot to go on me. Now, fortunately for my daughter, she's not overly she's just a normal endowment here. So she'll fit this much nicer than me who struggles with that problem so anyhow that's nice I'm gonna send that to Rachel did she respond <laughs> Savannah I can send you the other little cookies with the hazelnut in the inside they're um they're not bad. Um, if I do send them, you got to be super careful that um, Kenai doesn't get them because, yeah, they're going to choke him up. And also, I'd watch out with uh, Lexi because they're just the perfect size to block a windpipe. Um, so this is going to be... Savannah, I don't know if you saw this. I got this for your mom. It's a, just a nice, soft little dress, and it's tie-dyed. And I got it for, like, with my discount for, like, nine bucks. And I couldn't resist. I thought it be, might be nice for your mom to have a little tie-dyed, soft, soft dress. So I'll be sending that out to her. Thought I'd wash it up. And put my fabric softener on it first. Because they love to have me to wash the stuff that I'm sending them. Because they love the smell of my fabric softener. <laughs> and they said, oh, it smells like grandma. Okay, next. Well, this I didn't buy. This is my regular hairbrush. Oh, now I can be beautiful again. How did that brush get in my bag? La, da, da, da. Oh, I do have something in here you guys would like to see. I know. Wait, I'm going to dig it out. Da da! You might ask yourself, what are those and why? Oh, <laughs> that's so cute, Lexi. Hi, Katie. Um, you might ask yourself, what are those and why would I care that she got them? Well, because 
these are rollers. These are rollers to put in my hair during the pajama party live that we're going to be doing. And they're a unique kind of roller. Here, look. Little foam. You wrap your hair around the middle real tightly and then you wind it up and then you just twist the twist the roller and then it supposedly holds it in their hair. Because I wanted to put rollers in my hair. I'm going to put a facial mask on during our pajama party. So, got some little foam rollers for my hair for the pajama party. Woohoo! And these were only $3 and then my discount. I'm just a bargain snapper. Okay, next. Oh, and because I don't like monotony, so I got the blackberry jam. This is really yummy, too. This is from Italy. Casa Giulia. Giulia. Anyway, I've bought this brand before. Really, really yummy. It's made in Italy. And um, wild berries in varying proportions. Um, strawberries, blackberries. Um, what was that one? It's hard to read. Oh, raspberries, currants, and blueberries. Then some sugar, some pectin, so it makes it thick. And that's about it. Some little acid to keep it fresh. Asorbic acid. Wild berry fruits jam for your toast. Okay, gotta put that away when I go back downstairs. Put it in the refrigerator. And what do we have here for two dollars? A big bag of sponges, cosmetic sponges, so I don't have to constantly remember when I did my makeup, my get ready with me. I didn't have a sponge handy. Now I will. $2.99 minus my discount. Bargain, bargain, bargain. Okay. And your dad will be excited, Rachel, because we've been losing spoons somehow. And I bought a package of 10 spoons. <laughs> so... When we open our, our container of silverware that we have on the table downstairs, we won't be searching and searching for the two spoons that we got left. Now we got ten more. He's at work, otherwise he'd be so excited. I know, Kels. <laughs> they steal your forks. Uh, my friend Alberta always has trouble with her spoons disappearing. Oh, no. Well, you found your way back to us, Savannah. Yeah, so new spoons, and that was like $7.99. But, you know, this is a good company. I don't know how you say it. P-F-A-L's T-Z graph. Set of 10. Dishwasher safe. Well... I'm the dishwasher here. Premium stainless steel. Okay. Awesome. Got to take that downstairs. Uh-oh. These are, this is a brand that we ate when I lived in Belgium, too. And I believe they're from Germany. Let me see where they come from. I'm pretty sure, yeah, made in Germany. So, you know what? I don't know how to say the word, the brand, but I recognize it. <laughs> and I remember that we couldn't say it back when we lived in Germany. I mean, in Belgium either. So now these, this company has some of the best butter shortbread cookies. Really, really delicious. 
and Ross has had them too. But I picked this one because this. Oh no! I gotta take it back. I had, I had wanted. They had some that said French vanilla, and I wanted to taste. I'm going to take it back. I had wanted to taste the French vanilla flavor that they had. Oh, humbug. I was so excited to taste it. wonder if I should just taste this and get a second package with the vanilla. No, 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 no. I'm going to just go take it back and trade it. Okay, so we'll put that back in the bag. I hope I got my receipt. Oh, yeah, here's my receipt. Okay. So I got my receipt so I can trade it out. That brand has one now that said, uh, I think it said French vanilla flavor. And I was like, ooh, got to taste the French vanilla. I have to ask my parking angels to get me a really close parking spot. Because um, I wanted to film that video of the mural, I parked far away. And now because I did all that walking, my hip is really sore. I was so excited when I saw this because I always had the small little toothpaste in my purse. But I had lost my small little travel toothbrush. And I love a small little head on my toothbrush because you can get in the small areas that you can't get with a great big one and this one you charge it via USB off of your regular charger and then it's ready to vroom, go water resistant uh, compact design for travel three modes of brushing clean sensitive and massage my that sounds good easy to use portable design so once I take it out then I can put the cap on and put it in my purse okay that's very nice that was only $7.99 minus my discount then uh oh okay go down and since I'm trying to get away from going to those nail people, this is by Revlon, two, uh, a set of two, Total Gel Envy. So it's kind of a pinkish purplish color gel polish. And they don't need, they don't need the, I hope it doesn't need, Diamond top coat, diamond like shot, shine, salon quality color. 30 easy to remove shades. Well, this doesn't say so, but I don't think you have to use. I don't think you have to use a, a light. I don't think you have to. I should have gotten, well, I like the purple, don't you? And hey, for $3.99, hmm, base coat, optical brighter. So I was, I was picking up another brand that said all the way across it. It said, uh, you don't need, does not require the UV light. This doesn't say that, though. I'm going to have to look that up on the Internet. Hey, speaking of which, looking things up on the Internet. First of all, we have a young lady that may have popped in. Hi, Michelle. Uh, and she is going to be getting married, and she needs... Uh, suggestions about wedding dresses because she needs to look for one. So, 
the biscuits go back because I didn't get the right. And then anybody that watched the Get Ready With Me live the other day, you know that I was missing my eyelash curler. So for a couple bucks, I got a new eyelash curler. Okay. So I might find out if this needs to go under the light. Okay. So that was my haul. Lots of goodies. Kels, that's you that's going to uh, be looking for a wedding dress? Take those back. Okay. I did bring some... I thought I brought two of them. I'm putting these Milanos in a Ziploc bag so I can give them to some homeless person might love them. You never know. Just because I don't like them. I'm picky. I can admit that. I own that. I'm picky and fussy about what food I bother to eat. But there's a lot of people who would think I've heard people say they like chocolate and pumpkin together. Fall in love with flavor. Well, <laughs> okay, if you say so. I don't think my doggies would even eat the cookies. Would you eat the cookies? I would scrape off the chocolate. Because I'm just throwing this one away. So, how's everybody's new week going? This has pumpkin on it. Do you want it, Bachi? You want a cookie? Let's see if she'll eat it. I gave her a little edge piece. Oh my. You've got your eye on this crazy ball gown. When's your wedding, Kels? Yeah, the dog won't eat it. <laughs> Oh, uh, hi, Kathy. You just missed the end of my um, sharing what I got at Ross's today. You have to watch this uh, afterwards. Bombay, you have to watch it, Bombay. Yeah, Savannah, that's really sore when their teeth come poking out through the gums. Kathy, I would say the one thing I can tell you, probably unless you're crazy in love with the idea of chocolate and pumpkin together, um, no, please. <laughs> the Milana, Milano, Petridge Farm, no. Even my dog won't eat it. Uh, you're getting married 11 7 20. Oh, so you got some time to be looking and losing weight. And so you know, you really can't order because you don't know what size you're going to be then. I 
think I'm going to switch to drinking water. I should have brought a sandwich with me. <laughs> I think it's, uh, yeah, it's almost one o'clock. So Michelle and Kathy, you both weren't here, I don't think when we were talking about my daughter's uh, labradoodle, Saka, his name is Saka. If you would pray for him, please. He may be on the way out. Maybe gonna go and play with my Donnie boy who's on the other side. Man, my eye is sore in the corner. Yeah, Kathy. He's not eating. He just barely took a little water at all. And uh, when he tries to go pee-pee, uh, blood is coming out. Other signs, yeah. Seven o'clock there, okay. So anyhow, i am um, got a video um, that I've got three parts to, and I'm going to piece it together. And um, because I was walking around rather briskly while I was doing the video taping, I'm kind of <sighs> breathing heavy like that. But I asked them if they'd rather me um, cover that with the sound of like soft, nice music. Or should I leave it because in the background you can hear the birds twittering away. Which was kind of nice because when you see the mural, you're going to see a lot of our local birds were painted on there. So you see the birds visually on the mural and you hear audibly, you hear the bir real live birds twittering. There's a massive thunderstorm over the Boston area. Wow. Thank you for your prayers, Kathy, for him. <sighs> so, yeah. Oh, um, anybody have um, good success and a good recipe um, at the tip of your brain that you can tell me for beef short ribs? They're usually very expensive. I found them cheap and I am thawing out a big package of them downstairs. I had intended to try to mimic the delicious beef short ribs that they make um, at Nico's in um, Aikahi. They make them in a red wine and beef something or another. I'll probably put them in my pressure cooker Somebody went bye-bye. That's okay. Maybe make the music real low. This way we can still hear the music. <laughs> the birds chirping. That's kind of what I was thinking too, Kathy, but I don't know if that works. Mm -hmm. I have to try to see if I can use some of um, uh, YouTube stock music find one that it be appropriate we'll see when my do my um, a little bit of beer I don't have any beer oh boy my back is starting to hurt so Kathy I think you said that you take CBD oil huh I was reading last night uh, somebody talking about Oh, okay, Savannah, honey. I love you, too. You be careful walking over there. And you have a good night at work. My Savannah is now a working girl. She's working at um, Subway and has a really fun time working there, which is awesome. Okay, honey, you can keep listening while you get ready. Yeah, so Kathy, um, there was one lady that was talking very highly of the one that she takes and a um, few other people that 
Uh, there was a lot of people that said that it helped them so much. And there was only two people that said, well, they tried it and it didn't do anything for them. So I'm thinking I have to get off this kick of gobbling down ibuprofen before I go to sleep at about 1.30 in the morning. And then when I get up and it's worn off, um, I ha I'm doing that for the reason that I can sleep without pain and then... When I wake up, it's still pretty good, um, the pain level. And then with my breakfast, I can take acetaminophen, Tylenol. And I'm just taking too much Tylenol and ibuprofen. I don't like it, but I, I get such severe pain in my hips that if I don't take it, I just want to sit down and give up and just say, okay, Lord, take me now. <laughs> You use the 1,000 milligrams right before bed. Okay. So, I think ibuprofen is, uh, well, for me, the doctor said I need to always take food with my ibuprofen because um, my dad had bleeding ulcers and bleeding ulcers is hereditary, which is why I warned um, Savannah not to take too much ibuprofen unless she's eating food because um, the food helps kind of cushion your stomach a little bit. So hopefully the thought is hopefully it won't irritate it to the point of getting the bleeding ulcer. My hip and left knee if I don't use it before bed, I cannot sleep. Yeah. And I'm sure that uh, I think acetaminophen, the Tylenol, is bad for the liver. Because um, our friend Joe, he, he had a friend that passed away from taking too much Tylenol all the time. So, I'm wanting to get a really good quality uh, CBD oil that I can take. And I think that, now Kathy, um, you take no more pills. That is amazing. Um, now, I think what they say to do is when you put the dropper and you drop the drops under your tongue and that you should hold it there under your tongue for about a minute so it kind of starts to get... It's sneaky easy to overdose on Tylenol. Don't take more than 4,000 milligrams. Oh, Kels, I would take um, 400 milligrams. And you're talking 4,000, right? I take two, 200. In the morning with my breakfast. If it's really bad, I'll take another two... 200 so another 400 so 800 milligrams of acetaminophen a day and 400 milligrams of ibuprofen which is very manini i know uh compared to a lot of people there was uh there's a girl that i used to work with kells that's absolutely perfect to try to avoid op opioids um there's a girl I work with at um, Sears when I worked there, um, and <laughs> she asked me how many milligrams, I because I came in and I go, oh, my pain was just so bad. I really hated to do it, but I, I took um, two pills of ibuprofen, and she looked at me and she goes, oh, how many milligrams each were those? And I looked at her and I go, 200. So that's like 400 and she started to laugh. She said she said I've been taking them so long my body is immune to them. So I started taking 800 milligrams bam at the top and I add more and more and more. And so she had to take a crazy amount of ibuprofen to get it to work on her. But that's why a lot of times I would just want to suffer in, in pain because I wouldn't want my body to get used to it, you know? That's scary. 
So I'm really thinking I want to try this. Uh, no, Michelle. <laughs> My physical therapy that I need to do for the pain is um, lose 150 or 200 pounds. Um, you vape. Chronic facial pain. Oh, Kate, that must be like my daughter's. But she's, I think, getting better. It's like, Kate, you have that one that's almost like an electric pain. Electric shock kind of pain. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's it's so easy to get addicted to the pain medicine that the hospitals give. I know when I had my um, both my um, C-section and my abdominal surgery. You vape the CBD. Now, um, does anybody have enough experience with CBD oil to know if you get a better pain relief through? Put in the drops under your tongue and holding it for a minute before you swallow it or um, vaping it. Which one gets the better pain relief? Under the tongue. So, um, Kathy, um, they... What I was reading, and there is a website on Facebook, something to do with CBD hippie or something like that. Um, and I think that the lady that was talking to people on this one um, thread, she said that um, she takes like, I believe it is, I'm thinking 25 drops, but that sounds like a lot. And she uses a stronger one. Oh, you know what that's called, Kate. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. That's a huge name of a disease. I'm kind of, you remember when, oh, Kate, you're not American, so you probably aren't familiar, but uh, many long years, 12 or 15 years ago, the military in the United States had what they call uh, don't ask, don't tell. And it was about um, people that were, um, that are gay, that wanted to go in the military. And so basically the concept was, don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> in other words, they're just plug, plug in their ears and plug in their eyes and what they don't know doesn't hurt them. So <laughs> I kind of have that, um, that feeling about going to the doctor. Don't ask, don't tell. Yeah, so the um, lady was saying, because somebody said, well, they took some X number of drops under their tongue, and they got really sick, and they threw up, and this and that. And she goes, no, 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 you start with five drops, and get used to that first, and then slowly build up to taking to the point where you really get good pain relief, and you don't feel sick. So... You started out with four drops. Okay. And use you use the 1,000. The company I was looking at last night has the 750 or the 1,500 strength. So they said if you get the 1,500 strength, you just use less drops. All right? So, and then they talked about gummies and stuff like that. I had uh, bought some gummies here locally. Oh, okay, Kate. 
Oh, okay. You're going to bed already. Sweet dreams then, honey. We love you. You be well. Kate's in Scotland. So she's on a whole different time frame from us. I kind of want to avoid vaping because um, I have a feeling that sucking things down into my lungs is maybe not a good thing. Like 10, 15 years down the road, they're going to start saying, oh, all this vaping stuff was not a good thing. Four drops. The 750 milligrams strength and four drops okay well i need to order me some and get they ship to 50 states so yeah i quit smoking in 2000 Uh, I just, I just quit. <laughs> well, every now and then when my friends and I would go out to the clubs, this is back when I was young, uh, I'd have one or two cigarettes with my friends just as a social thing, but that would be it. And... Hey, whatever works. So anyhow, yeah, I'm going to order some of those and try to get them in here quickly because I want to get myself all the, off of this painkiller stuff. Oh, it sounds like we've got rain outside. I love the rain. I had dropped Dennis off in Kailua to work today, and all of a sudden it started raining. It was so funny. It had just started sprinkling when we pulled up to his work, and I was like, yes! And I said out loud in front of him, I said, bring it, you know, come on, hurry up. It's rain harder than this. And he's like, hey, wait a minute. And he's starting to get out of the car, and it was starting to really come down hard. He said, you could have waited for a minute to have said that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't think you need to add extra stuff into your lungs. I think the better off you are is with the more just plain oxygen. I used to have chronic bronchitis. I don't want to go back to those days. So nobody knows how to cook. Now these aren't the short rate bit short beef ribs I know I love rain usually I eventually get peaceful Michelle at first I get hyper like a child I'm running to the window and I'm like it's raining it's raining <laughs> Yay! you'd think I was going to throw on rubber galoshes and get out and splash around in it Oh, do you guys remember, Kathy, you remember this. I am sure you remember this. We used to have these ankle-high, very soft, rubbery boots that we would pull on over our tennis shoes, and then it had a little elastic thing. You'd pull on the side and hook it over the little 
button tab. Remember that? Oh, those were the good old days. Weren't those the best? I'm putting some water on my eye. I think that when I got up this morning, I had some like some sort of crusty sleep in my eye. And I think that I was so busy thinking about what I needed to do to get breakfast together that I just briskly brushed it like that. Now, I did that the other day, and it stayed swollen and sore for like a day. I got to stop beating myself up like that. Ah. Now I got to find a pretty colored mask to put on my face for the... I thought I might try to uh, make a really cute, cutesy, 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 um, like, uh, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Invitation to make for the pajama party live that we're having at you now and um, email a copy of it to Peter and invite him. If I if my body didn't hurt, uh, I would be doing that. I, Michelle, that's be so fun. We need a good hard rain. I like to. I would like to even, even though I can't run around like a child. It'd be fun to just set my chair out there and just let it rain right on me. Don't even put the umbrella. The chickens that run to the sides. Okay, so I'm on the second and third level of the condo. Um, the people on the bottom level have the overhang, you know, and the chickens go and they stand around on the cement all the way around the, the courtyard and watch the courtyard being rained on. I know, Michelle. I, I, I think I'm going to go early to pick up Dennis and swing by the Marine base and weigh myself. Because the first step of losing weight is finding out how much you weigh to start with. So once I get that number, then we can proceed. I can start writing my journal and reporting back, reporting back to you. I'd be like, aye, aye, sir. Today I had 1,500. Yesterday I had 1,500 calories. Here's what I ate. This is how many ounces of water I had. This is what I drank. You guys be my uh, drill, in, drill instructor. Be You'd be screaming at me. My friend Alberta has lost so much weight that yesterday she was cutting her toenails and then all of a sudden she was like, wait a minute, what am I doing? I can reach my toes. <laughs> That's a big thing to celebrate. She's doing so well. I forgot to ask Dennis if he had lost any weight. He went to the doctor the other day and his blood pressure was down. It was only down by like three points, but every little bit helps. Now I got to finish off this bottle. I had like two different bottles of water going. So I'm going to look up a recipe for these beef short ribs. The ones I'm talking about, you've seen them probably. They're about this long and they're chunky. They, they usually cut them in this big, they're this long, chunky, chunky beef short ribs. They're, they're long short ribs. They're not like little cow beef short ribs. They're the big ones. And I need a recipe. Stat. 
I want to throw them in my pressure cooker and and cook them. Ah. Uh, uh. So, let's see what else is new. Guess that's about it. I'm excited to get that. As soon as I go off of here, I am going to sit down and try to edit that. It's only three pieces. And it's not going to be that long of a video, maybe 8 to 12 minutes, I'm guessing, to show you the mural. But wow, you're going to be blown away. It's so pretty. And it's been there a couple years. Michelle, um... So you're off work from for the day, yeah? Oh, I don't care for Worcestershire sauce. That takes some getting used to. It's kind of really tangy. It's uh it's got a pizzazz of some sort to it. Onion, I think I have beef broth. Should I put vegetables like pot roast? No. This one restaurant, they charge like $20, $22 for like two. But the plate has three big, big chunks. And it's so delicious and so tender. And they serve it with a big pile of mashed potatoes. That's what I really wanted. <laughs> but I got these for a pretty decent price. It's a big package, and I think it was $11 or $12, something like that. They said they put red wine in theirs, but it didn't taste real whiny. Maybe they used red wine instead of the beef broth that you use. I do have that very light, it's a red rosé I could put in there. I went to the waterfalls. No, they didn't have any waterfalls. I will look. Maybe there was something that I caught that I forgot to put on. Oh, seven. So I need to go to Ulta, but I'm not going to spend... When I go to the Ulta, can I get a lot for... Say if I make myself um, not spend more than $100, how much stuff will I get at Ulta? I really shouldn't even spend that. <laughs> oh, okay, Kathy. Go help your mom. I'm getting hungry. Perhaps I should open these butter cookies. Maybe that was an omen that the butter cookies with the vanilla... French vanilla wasn't going to be good. We make it with garlic mashed potatoes. You know, a lot of people really like those garlic mashed potatoes. I didn't eat lunch. I think um, with it being past 1 o'clock, I need something to eat. We're going to have some of these cookies. Maybe it was an omen that the French vanilla that I thought I was grabbing... Oh! Maybe it was an omen that they're not good. These, I know, will be good. Oh, and they're broken. Wah. Oh, my goodness. 
They're broken. This is how they're supposed to look. Wow, they're tasty though. <laughs> I don't know. I can look in my um in my videos. I'm I'm sure that you probably are right and I'm wrong. I was being so frustrated not finding any the one day when I drove up the H three um and it was really raining pretty hard. I should have been able to see um, waterfalls, but the clouds were so thick you couldn't. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me while I choke. Live TV. <laughs> That's one thing about these butter cookies. They're so uh, sandy that you can easily get a little dot of these down the throat. The dog, her her senses have popped up like, I smell a good cookie. <laughs> Electrician came over with the landlord earlier and my power was on and off for two hours. So no work got done. Oh dear. Eyeshadow pilots run from 24 to 65. Whoa. Guess I won't be getting any of that. Maybe I need to just stay away from this Ulta place. Maybe I gotta wait and find out how we do with having suddenly to pay a lot of money to Medicare. We haven't got the bill yet. So what I'm thinking is, um, we, they said that they charge per quarter so I'm thinking October, October, November, December, that's probably the last quarter for their, their year. We're probably going to get billed for that. And then plus they're going to backdate Dennis's Medicare to September. So September, October, November, December, four months at $170 each is... Three forty six hundred and eighty dollars. I gotta have red ready when the bill comes. Jacqueline Hill palette for my birthday back in June at Ulta. It was thirty five. Oh, Melody, nice to see you here today. And how do you like that Jacqueline Hill palette? Pa palette. I know you want a cookie. She just giving me dirty stink eye. I have a little piece here. Should I throw it at you? Toss it to you? Mmm. Ellie, you want a piece? Ellie! You want a cookie? Uh-oh. Fell down. Uh-oh, fell down. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
Ah, oh. does it have pretty colors? I know I agree, Bachi. It is worth the calories, huh? Now that she ate. <laughs> she left, she still got that Milano sitting there, but she ate the the butter shortbread. There's one over there, Ellie. <laughs> oh, watch. Get it? <laughs> Bachi will do clean up on aisle five. <laughs> Is mom okay, Kathy? Okay, so this is it. It's a terrible lunch for me to be eating. Aha! Ah, 18, what an age. My granddaughter just turned 17. She's so excited to make 18. Gave her her chocolate chip cookie. I haven't made um, homemade cookies in so many years. You know, the chocolate chip kind. I was kind of thinking um, that I should make a batch and then just package them up and hand them out. My goodness. These butter cookies, they're fall apart. Did you know I went over to um, watch um, a live on Sharon, my friend Sharon Lee? Oh my goodness, you guys. I forgot I was going to put a link because I'll do that afterwards. I'll put a link on Chatterbox. Those of you who enjoy really hot spicy, Sharon and her ex-husband Richard were doing the scorpion peppers and trying to eat those. Oh, lordy, lordy. Anyhow, um, I noticed that the day that she did that live, she lost 10 viewers too now I've noticed on days like the last time I did a live I lost 10 viewers I think that YouTube has some sort of system that throws away people when you to kind of get us to not do lives I don't know I'm guessing maybe to de um, deter us from doing it so often what do you think I was freaking myself out. This is what happens when you're old. <laughs> For all you young people that don't know what's coming up the pike. Um, I thought, didn't I put those um, butter cookies into that other Ziploc bag? 
and then I couldn't see where I had set them and it was freaking me out <laughs> but I had I have to learn to trust myself I know but when you go to look at the analyticals Kathy um, it seems like when people do a live that they unsubscribe 10 of their subscribers because you can look at the analyticals and it shows what day and what video that they lost people um, their subscriptions and I'll say like minus 10 I think it's a penalty that we pay I don't care. I like to do my lives with my people. Potato chips. We don't even have them in the house anymore. <sighs> I got to get rid of these Milanos and these other little cookies. And then we'll only have the one package of cookies in the house. Adam could eat the cookies. Which ones? The Milanos? It would cost me more to ship them there than for you guys to buy yourself <laughs> a package. That's what I forget sometimes. That's why a lot of times I just send money for um, gifts. Because um, if I buy gifts when I'm... See what happens is with my family in the mainland... For example, it happened this morning at Ross's. I saw something and I thought, that would be so good. I could send Rachel one. I could send one to each of them. Kaylee, I could get one for Savannah. It was uh, like a knockoff of the um, Clarisonic brush to wash your face. And it had cute colors on the handles and stuff. And it was only like $9. And then I would get my discount. So I was thinking, oh, it's a bargain. But then it dawned on me, the shipping. The shipping will make it prohibitive. I could have just sent them the money and tell them, go to Ross's and buy this. Oh, Kathy. Oh, lol. I had my glasses off and the LOL, when I kind of just squinted to see if I could read it without my glasses, it looked like you had said, no. I was like, no, what? Then I squinted again. So anyhow, yeah, I got to send away for my birth certificate, our marriage certificate, which I cannot get a copy. Texas. When you get your marriage license, if you lose your marriage certificate, you're just out of luck. They will not issue a certified copy of that again. They have got something that I guess is in lieu of a marriage certificate. So I have to have all of that gathered up and I need to make an appointment probably soon. And for what? This is for renewing my driver's license in February. I have to get an appointment now for February. <laughs> and I have to gather up all kinds of... State of Hawaii requires a ton of um, IDs to prove who you are, to get your... Uh, renewal and the funny thing is not funny ha ha funny weird is because this is even people like me who have had their license through the state of Hawaii X number of times renewed so they've got it on file who you are and your picture it's like did I suddenly become a non-citizen of the United States Hello, Hawaii. Wake up. And 
<laughs> ironic part is if you were coming in from, say, the Philippines and didn't have any documentation, no problem. We take care of you. <laughs> well, Michelle, thankfully, um, probably that'll be the last time I renew because they give you um, so many years. They charge you an arm and a leg, but they give you like nine years or something. And who knows, by nine years, I might not be on this plane of existence or who knows, maybe I moved to the mainland. I saw one uh, YouTuber um, who drives around in his RV and lives in his RV. He went to South Dakota and he went to a special place. And within less than 24 hours, he became a citizen of South Dakota, a legal citizen with a street address, a P.O. box, had his driver's license from South Dakota, changed his plates on his van to South Dakota plates, everything. And if he had had a weapon they could have filled out the paperwork for a carry conceal and he would have just been required to stay there for an extra 30 days while he was waiting on the C CCW is that what they call it that's pretty amazing most places you gotta live there for six months at least and then show them that you've got utilities bill in your name it's crazy well I have to make sure I get my contacts by then and have them in my eyeballs because the last uh, renewal for my driver's license I was doing the reading test uh, not reading but the vision test down in the little machine where you look down into it like that and it got to the point where I had to squint and I was trying to make really hard trying to make out and it was really funny because the guy that I had he's normally really humbug to everybody and he's been really humbug to me in the past for things like renewing your registration and stuff and um, Anyhow, so I'm kind of hemming and hawing because I can't make out. And I looked at him, I go, oh, sorry. I said, I don't understand this because when I'm driving, I can read all the signs. I said, I guess I better go get glasses. And he laughed and he said, yeah, the next time you come to renew your license, make sure you have your vision correction. Cause, and he, he let it slide by because he, he could tell that this was a shock to me that my distance vision was getting bad. So, Because before I had really excellent distance vision. So uh, he let me slide. I do see all the signs just fine, but I'm um, going to go ready. So I'm going to go get my eyes checked and get some of those multifocal uh, contact lenses. And then I won't have to do this just to read what you say. <laughs> That'll be so nice. We were at the DMV yesterday to renew your son's license because he turned 18 and my other son's ID because he turns 24. Wow, Sunday. And we spent about four hours. We left for food and came back and they still hadn't called your number. Wow, Melody. Here you just have to stand in the line. And now that they've got this thing about making appointments at the DMV, the people that don't cooperate and take an appointment, they have to just wait and get squeezed in between the people that are there for appointments. And they said that you can literally sit there and wait all day long have them tell you, sorry, it's time for us to close. We can't take you. And then you have to come back the next day and start all over again, the wait again. 
I don't know how people can handle. What are they wearing? Depends when they under their clothing when they go in. Because you can't. It's like not like yours, Michelle. They can't take a number. Oh, maybe it wasn't Michelle. Melody. Yeah, it's not like your place, Melody, where you can take a number. You have to stay in the line in, in Hawaii. Oh, wow. Sorry to hear that, Kills. stretching my big girl stretching Ellie you want to come here you want to hug want to hug come here oh you I asked don't crawl at me come here over this side come over this side Oh, Bachi, you're so jealous. Now we're going to have a real problem. <laughs> I wanted to hug Elle. And as soon as Bachi found out, now she wants up. Are you coming up? No? Okay. Stay down. Well, come on up. Jump. Wolf yourself. Okay, jump up. Now come on up. Come. <laughs> uh, you can have your turn in a little while, Pachi. I'm giving Mama some love. <laughs> yeah, me too, Michelle. I see a lot of people driving that ought not to be driving. <laughs> You're going to play your toy. <laughs> Were we discontinued for a minute? Hi, Rasha. I'm doing okay. Apparently, my dog thinks I have a dirty ear. <laughs> she's fanatical about cleaning people. But then again, she's had babies, so... She thinks she's a mama to everybody. Oh, you got special glasses coming. I see, Kels. Uh-oh, somebody's going to dinner time. Sorry I didn't see you going, Melody. Bye, have a nice dinner. Oh, my dog needs a bath and a haircut. She's a dirty, dirty dog. She doesn't go outside, but, you know, she finds a way to get dirty inside. I don't know how this happens. Hi, Ty. Oh. Well, I'm glad. After we're done talking uh, live, Ty, uh, YouTube saves it, and then you can click on it like a regular video. And you can watch. I did, uh, I showed everybody all the stuff I bought at the store today. It wasn't anything earth shattering, just it was fun to share what goody goodies I had picked up. Just like watching your mom or your auntie say, oh, this is what I got today when I went to the store. <laughs> Well, welcome to our family. I don't think I've ever talked to you before, Ty.
Ah, thank you, Amber. Joy is a wonderful name. My one poodle that died 27 days after my golden retriever died, her name was Gracie. I named her after, and anybody that's older that's in the room, they'll know who this person is. I named her after Gracie Allen, George Burns' wife. Because um, George Burns' wife, Gracie, actually in real life, she was really, really smart. But she always played the ditzy blonde um, in TV shows and movies. And she had the cute little baby voice. And she just always acted dumb. And that's how Gracie was. Gracie was really smart, but she would pretend that she was dumb. And we would catch her sometimes that she was faking it. <laughs> oh, don't, don't you say that. Ah, ah. Ah, no. <laughs> Attack of the kissy monster. What? You hush. Ah. No. Shh. I'll tell you what, because her baby is half Maltese, she is a yapper. Yep, 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 yep. And she's jealous that I'm holding her mom and I'm not holding her. She's a spoiled baby brat. Even though she's six years old. <laughs> In some ways, she's way more naughty than she ever was as a baby. Want to get down and play with your daughter? Hi, Re Retha. Ah, I don't even know. Some of you people are new to me. Oh, 3 a.m. Oh, my goodness, Rasha. Love you too, honey. You need to just watch the video later when you wake up don't stay awake so late <laughs> but she is throwing her <laughs> but she is throwing her um her toy at my feet to try to get my attention not new just been busy the last few weeks oh okay Rita well then you probably aren't aware of all the things that have developed since you've not uh, been to uh, my um, channel. See? A dirty little fox. <laughs> but she threw her dirty little fox at me. Um, Retha, um, okay, first of all, we got a Facebook group called Sunny's Chatterbox. And um, you can go to Facebook and search for it and then put your app in and we'll approve it right away. And we can stay in touch that way with each other. Um, number two. Oh, you're in the group already. Okay, good. Number two, did you hear about um, we're going to have probably this next week if I get all my goodies together, all my props, I should say. And I'm also I want to make a proper invitation, which I thought would be something really cute and uh, quirky uh, invitation and then send it to Peter in the email and see if he wants to come. But we're going to meet up at you now, which is a free app. And my channel at you now is I espresso myself. And I put that up on the chatterbox. Um, we're going to meet here on YouTube, and once we gather everybody up, we'll sit and talk story for maybe 15 minutes while people straggle in. And then I'm going to say, okay, I'm turning off the YouTube now, so I'm going to turn on the you now. Now. And um, we're going to have a pajama party live over there. And the reason being, number one, we can have music playing without getting busted for copyright issues and they won't turn us off 
and we can play music because we want to dance. And um, also, they have the function where down at the bottom, I'll be able to invite, say, I'll be able to send you a party. Uh, I mean, an invitation while we're while we're live on you now. I'll be able to push a button and ask you, Retha, would you like to be involved? And if you hit accept, your microphone and your camera turn on in your cell phone, and we'll see you on one side of the picture, like a split screen, and you can talk to us, and everybody can hear and see you. We can see your pajamas now. Keep it PG-rated pajamas. Let's go for cute and not sexy, okay? Keep it clean. <laughs> this is not Trisha Paytas' channel. <laughs> Let's keep it clean. And, um... So everybody's going to show there, and you can talk story live with me for maybe a few minutes, as long as you're comfortable. And then after a few minutes, I'll ask you to just exit, and we'll have somebody else come in, and we'll look at their pajamas top and talk story to them. And everybody that wants to can get a turn, and we can put faces to the names that we see whenever we do lives. It's going to be so fun. I intend to put rollers in my hair and a facial mask. I was hoping I could find like a blue or a purple facial mask to put on my face. And I want to have a big pizza handy. Have yourself some drinks and some food. You can hold your food up to the video and let us see what you're eating. At your, and we're going to play maybe a game or two. Who knows? I'm thinking Family Feud or Name That Tune or I don't know. What kind of games could we play? Yeah, Kels. Um, I, you know what? I am so new to the You Now, too. I only got it because of Peter. And I'll go watch it. Um, once you put somebody, like I put Peter as one of my people that I want to watch. So anytime he goes on his you now, on my cell phone at the top, I'll get a little, um, I'll see a little icon and I bring it down and I look and it say Peter Mon is on live now. That's what you want to do with the I espresso myself for me. So you're ready to go. This should be a lot of fun. Hey, and if this turns out half as much fun as I think it's going to be, the next month we might want to do another one and we're going to do like a potluck where everybody does a different, um, cooks a different thing at their house. And then when they take a turn on the split screen, they can show us what they need to bring to the party. And, you know, they can take a bite and they can describe how it tastes. And we'll do the same thing. We'll share with everybody. So that was an idea to have a live potluck dinner together. I think that would be so awesome. But first, we're going to try this pajama party. And I would love to make a cute, cute, cute little invitation that looks like it's from the 60s. Maybe kind of a grease kind of vibe to it. You know, when the girls were over in Greece and having a slumber party. And yeah, that was my thought. If I can make an invitation and send it in the email to Peter, who knows, right? I mean, probably he's not going to come. But there's a tiny little hope. Because I kind of know he loves me like I love him. I kind of know he loves me. So there's a teeny tiny chance that maybe he'll come and maybe he'll, we'll see a pajama top on him and wouldn't that be so fun OMG I'd die I would die I would ha die a happy girl <laughs> oh. maybe he'd bring Alex with him <laughs> maybe the two of them would be on the split screen talking to us and waving and saying, hi, what you ladies up to tonight? A 
Okay, Michelle, cook something yummy. What time it is? It is coming up on 2 o'clock, and my hubby wants me to pick him up at 4 o'clock, so I better keep track, because I'll leave here at 3.30. I don't think I'm cooking tonight. <laughs> I better look in my wallet and make sure I got some money for a restaurant. Comb my hair. So, um, for those of you who just toddled in lately, we have Retha and Amber and Ty. Are you still here, Ty? Give me a emoji if you are. So, just to let you know what we talked about, I had bought these the other day. They are pumpkin spice Milanos. They got a thin layer on one cookie of chocolate, and the other layer's got pumpkin spice. And unless you've already tasted that combination, sorry, <laughs> I would not highly, I would not recommend this. I bagged it up neatly. I had taken only one out. I intend to keep it in my car. And the next time a homeless person comes at a stoplight with their sign, I'm going to roll down my window and give it to them. <laughs> because I don't know, maybe they like it. It's better than throwing $2 in the trash, just boom, like that. Maybe if I was a homeless person with a sign looking for something to eat, maybe I would think they were pretty tasty I've been on some diets when I got pretty hungry and almost anything tasted good <laughs> has anybody been there raise your hand <laughs> oh my mother started putting me on a diet when I was in fourth grade they gave me adult size back in those days it was uppers the doctors prescribed uppers and they put me on adult strength uppers to lose weight and within a week my hands were like this I was just walking around trembling all the time <laughs> they had to take me off of them oh heavens what were they thinking back in those days I was like you know what I was not in fourth grade. I have to take that back. I believe I was in I was in fifth grade. So I was like nine. Still. And I remember the horrible diets. On my plate, my mom would give me one lettuce leaf and a scoop of cottage cheese and two carrot sticks. I was so hungry back in those days. Garandam tea it if you handed me a pumpkin spice Milano cookie. <laughs> that sucker would have tasted so good. <laughs> oh, I would have been like, oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Not another lettuce leaf and carrot stick. Oh. <laughs> I remember my mom saying, I am doing this because if you don't lose weight, you're going to die. And I said, if this is what I have to eat all the time, I hope I do die. This is not, this is no kind of life, mother. I was like, oh, Lord. Things were brutal back in those days. Hi, Amber. She raised her hand. So, here I am. I'm addicted to the Orange Burst or whatever the heck Snuggle kept, calls their fabric softener. That is the orange one. I cannot stand the aroma of any other fabric softener. Can't do it. Makes me feel sick to my stomach. So I kept waiting and waiting for the last three weeks for Longs to put them on sale. They put them periodically. They kind of rotate them. 
And when they put them on sale, I buy them because they're either $2.99 or $3.99. I can't remember which. But when they drop down that low, I buy like six to eight bottles so that I don't worry about it. It hasn't been on sale and I ran out and I I know here's pigeon English. I no more wait and no more choice. I have to be <laughs> gotta get, man. So um six dollars and fifty cents for my bottle of snuggle. Yes. Lucky we live Hawaii. Beautiful Amy, so good to see you here. I was doing all kinds of stuff today. I didn't mean to mukbang, but um, I had forgot to eat lunch and it was one something and I ended up having to eat two or three cookies. They <laughs> just tied me over. And I did a haul, so I showed some goodies nothing spectacular just show what I got at Ross's dress for less today I went to their brand new one and then as soon as I um, hang up from here I'm going to lay down on my bed and put my head to putting the three pieces together of the video that I videoed this morning which is this beautiful mural that's on the two sides of a uh, little strip mall over by the Windward Mall. So this is kind of a chop suey. Oh, you love Ross. We got a brand new one over at the mall. It, t it took the spot where Sports Authority used to be. And it's about twice as big as their um, old one at Windward City Shopping Center. So, yeah. And um, what else did we do? So I showed the haul from Ross's, and I taste tested some stuff. Um, it just slipped my mind what we did. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having such a senior moment. Oh my God. Don't you love live TV? <laughs> when they mess up and they just can't do anything to hide it. This is just messed up. You know what? Okay, um, for those of you who are new to me, I was like, I'm going to be 65 in February. Okay, back in the old days, black, black and white TV only, <laughs> there used to be the thing lots and lots of TV shows were aired live just like this it was wonderful because if they had like a skit or something that they were supposed to be doing they'd forget their lines um, actors would like interact in a strange way and they'd get the giggles and they'd break out a character it was terrific so you know they had did anybody see about three years ago, I think it was, they had like Grease Live. They showed the they showed the movie and they were actually doing the movie while they aired it. So there there's no take backs. There's no like oops. <laughs> I love live. It's really real. Anyhow, so I'm going to be putting together the video that I did this morning of that mural because it's really pretty and it was painted by high school students and a few elementary school students that helped and it's been up there a couple years and so yeah, I'm going to put that together and put it up on the channel. So yeah, we had a mukbang of cookies since I hadn't eaten lunch. We had a haul. We had a talk story. 
And then we had a recipe. I've been I've been asking for ideas of how to cook my um, big beef beef short ribs, but they're not. Why do they call them short ribs when they're about this long, and they're real thick? Now, when we do Calbi, we have really short. They're only this long, the strips of meat with the bones. You saw the grease live. I think they did another show live, too. I think there was two, and they were spaced about maybe two or three months apart. That was so much fun. We got 10 people in here. That's plenty people. Although some people are working and they left it so that they can just hear it while they're working in their house or fixing their dinner. They did Sound of Music. They did Sound of Music live. Wow. You know, um, what was I watching the other day? And it was like, um, hmm, what show was that? And it was the last of those. And I thought, oh, that's got to be sad. Um, when I was in high school, I took part in a Christmas musical. And we really did this all the way. We ordered, because we lived in Belgium, we ordered um, from a costume shop um, in Germany, and we got real professional costumes for our musical. Uh, we rehearsed like for months and months and months preparing for this musical. And then when we were ready, um, we used a real lot and we, worked really hard on all of the scenery and um, then when we were ready and it was Christmas time and this is a Christmas musical and we had the stage we used the little theater we did several shows and they actually charged a little bit of money I think it was like 50 cents a person or something but we're talking this was 1969 or 70 and um, do you know during the last the last performance and we had done about four I think four or five performances during the last performances oh I remember it just touched my heart my dad came backstage afterwards and brought me flowers and I just like that just set me off and I started crying and um, then as we were all taking off our costumes and our makeup, all of us kids started crying and crying and hugging each other's necks. And we were just like overwhelmed with the thing, the sense that this was something so much fun to be a part of something bigger than yourselves and to be a really team member. And it was all over and we were so sad, even though we knew that we were going to be seeing each other in school the next Monday, right? Um, so it's not like we were leaving each other. It's just that the experience was over and it was like so sad. And sometimes I see um, things on TV, like if they have something live and it's like the end of the show where there's not going to be any more and I'm thinking they've got to go through the same kind of feelings don't you think I think they got to oh Amy okay I'm glad that you could stop by get ready for the pajama party it's going to be next week or the week after that but for sure, because I'm getting my props all purchased and ready to go. I'm just finalizing the last little tidbits. Hi, Bethany. <laughs> I'm 
glad that I'm a good background noise. I, I put Peter on uh, his vlog on while I'm wash, sitting there washing dishes in the kitchen sometimes. I'm going to be putting on the mural. You'll want to be sitting there and watching it, though, because um, the mural that I videoed this morning, because it's really pretty. I mean, for, you know, we're just like small town kind, but still pretty. Ah. So it is two o'clock and I've been on for two hours. So I probably should go unless anybody has anything else we should discuss. Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> My dogs are well behaved all of a sudden. Maybe they found all the cookie parts. Getting late, gotta go. Okay, Ty, where do you live, by the way, real quick? Tell us where you live. I always love you too, Ty. I am so blessed to have all of you guys in my family. Ty, is that a, a female name or are you male? Okay, Amber. <clears throat> That's awesome that you're going to uh, come back to our next live and chat and talk story. Okay, everybody's going to go to bed now. <laughs> we'll catch everybody up later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.